Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a hero or a hero factory review. And today's of which is on Bulk and Vapor from 2010. So on the front of the box here is the Lego logo, Hero Factory logo, picture of the two uh, figures that come within in a menacing battle, of course, and limited edition sign, which indicated it as a Toys R Us exclusive and Rip Toys R Us, of course. And see bulk vapor, of course. But without the and symbol. And age recommendation is eight and eight through sixteen. Set number seven one seven nine eighty nine pieces. Uh, more on that in the verdict. And of course, from the makers of Bionicle characters. And from the back, you see another uh, battle of the two again, and all the heroes down below, how to shoot the meteor launcher, and Vapor's stats and his symbols, of course. And on to the instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey, Evil Wing Kid, after the Lego Club, after the Fernal Bike, of which next, next throwback Thursday review, and uh, Fighting Rotor. And then Furno and Stormer against Von Nebula and out of Hero Factory, various things with HeroFactory.com and the pieces that come with the set and the last steps. First off is Bulk or Duncan Bulk, who we all, which in this wave there already was a version of, well, in the canister set wave. But it's just been modified slightly just for this set. Although originally, or whereas, as you see, it has two of the hollow arms rather than just the one, well, both his and Stringer's uh, hollow arm blaster weapons. But whereas in the mini series with the flashbacks, there was a veteran hero called uh, Thresher who was built the same way but just in dark green of course so also rumor has it that this set was supposed to originally be called thresher and vapor but instead it's been changed to this for whatever reason but and also the other modifications also made to this bulk is which is the avatar and jetpack which the heroes also flew other heroes flew with in the mini series, of course, and also the only thing exclusive to him is the orange tube, like we've seen on Rotor. Like, if compared to him to the regular Duncan Bulk, a uh, standalone caster set version that there also was, as you see, everything else is the except the same, except for the right arm and the backs. Like, if you modified this one uh, with all this, then you'd get exactly the same. And, of course, some of the good things that the other this version had was the silver handpiece, of course. And, well, anyways, besides that, about it with Ball. So, on to the uh, Villain Vapor who was the only exclusive one to this set. Although didn't much appear, didn't appear in the Nickelodeon miniseries of Hero Factory, but except for a slight Easter egg where there was just the wanted sign of him, but on a monitor, of course. And as you see, kind of simpler like, or simple like most of the other villain sets in this wave, of course. Like the feet, of which just the basic uh, all black Paraka feet and Vaculin, and also the Ben 10 limb pieces, but in blue, since the other villain sets had them in uh, usually black. And of course, the Ben 10 construction sets did have different colors to them, but at least if you were to get these without getting the Ben 10 sets, well, there is an opportunity for that. But Anyways. And as for the body of him, of which 
if I take this off, of course, then you see it's just the same exact body piece as all the sets in this wave all had. And also do have the bull rock uh, eye tooth pieces, but in solid blue, which uh, Tahu Uniter in 2016 Bonacle also well had. And also with Vapor, I'll do get one of those like armor ring pieces that that uh, Meltdown and Thunder and Corroder all had, but just not without stickers added to them. And his helmet, just the same as Rotors, but in blue, which kind of a nice, good recolor to it. And of course, the blue Glatorian head underneath. But, and again, don't get any, like, a pattern. Don't get any light piping through it. it. And as for the arms of which, kind of just the same deal as Corroders, where it is just the Avatoran arm pieces, but except it's a different kind of Avatoran arm piece, like where it's the one we've had with Atticus, of course. And also on his back are the, like orange tubes, like we've seen with Rotor, of course. But also on the arms are Borok eye teeth and Corroders uh, added pieces, but in blue, of which nice for mocking. Like if you bought a whole bunch of them, can make like an all blue version of Road of Corroder or whatever. And also, as I know, some of which probably you like symmetry, but he does have some good symmetry to him, except for the weapons and the tubes. Well. For his left hand, to which has a quite unique kind of weapon, where it's mostly a uh, Fantoka Makuda Chirox's blade underneath there, and also unique build to the Meteor Lockers, or otherwise Xamorosphere Launch or Thorax Launchers in black. Also, like the other villain sets have, where you can pinch them and fire them like so. And of course, a uh, Matoro Twin Cutter Claws uh, underneath, on top of that, of course. But for the other arm, or hand, uh, which is another one of those pieces, and also Marinui Matoran Daggers around them, and also Scope piece, like what Mystica Gali and Thordas V9 both had. So, at least he has some bit of symmetry, but not completely. But it's for, I can forgive it. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think a kind of quite good set for what it is. Although, okay. so a little bit of repetition, kind of quick with bulk, of course. Well, same with the kind of thing with Furno and the Furno bike, obviously, and but of course you get Vapor, which who is exclusive and all, like give you nice recolors to him, and also not much for bulk, of course. But as for the like price and everything, like a nine pieces, twenty five dollars, just mm, kind of steep. Like if you looked at, because if look also in this wave there was a. Uh, Rotor and Von Nebula, and they were just around over a few more pieces, and were also, uh, and were only twenty dollars. I'm not sure why this is. Probably want to match up with the other hero and villain sets, of course. As, although some probably bought it just to not bother getting the bulk counter set, of course. Although it can kind of work out that way, but you know, although some of you, some of you hardcore collectors kind of like double dipping and things, and so now overall, so therefore, so now if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say truly get it, eBay brick like on eBay Bricklink, whatever. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.